I've brought the Stanton. Ian is back. And I haven't ridden a pedal bike uphill for ages. Hopefully things are going to be better this time. A lot of rain. I guess you're wanting to know what's going on. <laughs> It's so slick, isn't it? Hey folks, how's it going? Got a bit of a different vlog today. So I've been riding this gravel bike loads lately and and the e-bike but not regular powered bike so i brought the stanton to eastridge just to see how much my legs have improved so there's a few things there's quite a lot of things that are different today ian is back for a ride and the first ride we're going to try this i bought um, a harness for the gopro only for one run just want to see how good the stabilization is on the hero 9. Uh, I bought this for the Hero 9, some Rain-X, that's what the boy racers use on the windscreens to disperse the, the, the water, so I'm going to try that. The fluffy things on the front of the Hero 9 that I put on on the last vlog, one fell off so I super glued them on, uh, I, they work really well so I'm dead chuffed with them. I've had to think about um, what I'm wearing, I haven't gone trousers, I've gone shorts, I've gone backpack because I can't put a bottle on the Stanton unless I want it in the dog shit area down the bottom of the down tube. But the main thing is I haven't been to Eastridge for ages and I haven't ridden a pedal bike uphill for ages apart from a gravel bike so i want to get out and see how it feels and just i'm on my own i'm just going to have some fun and you can join me so let's get sorted come on in and jump in here while i get changed come on up 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 come on up 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 come on good boy sit you haven't got to keep that on for long don't worry Exactly how I want it. 22 rear, 18 front. Didn't even have to put any in. Regular mountain bike kit engaged, ready to ride on the pedal power machine. Let's go. All right, Ian, you ready to you ready to rock? You're always ready to rock, aren't you? So as you get straight back on a mountain bike after so much e-biking, it's weird. You don't notice it on a gravel bike because they roll so easy. This just feels extremely slow and sedate. Already lost Ian. Ian! <whistles> you go the wrong way? Silly puppy. Come on, you got some shredding to do. Are you excited, Ian? <whistles> Last time I rode a pedal powered mountain bike was uh, Landegler, probably two, three months ago with Sonny on the Cannondale Habit. I hated it. Not the bike, the climbing, because I hadn't ridden sort of pedal power bike for so long. Uh, hopefully things are going to be better this time. Come here, sit. Right. So I'm at the top, it's really windy. I didn't find that too bad actually. I didn't do much more filming because I rode up with some friends. This is now on Ian. I just want to try it for one run. Let me know what you think about this. Ian, come here. Okay. Good ride, Ian.
friends. Oh, it's going to be hard to get. Sorry, there'll be a lot of stop starting. Right, put your mug guard on. Stop getting crap on the screen. Stay. Come on, then. Sideways. So that was super sketchy, but that's Ian's run out of the way. Let's take this thing off him. Okay, round two, heading back up the same climb. Ian is free of his GoPro harness shackles. And on this next descent, I'll tell you how it's all feeling. You're loving it, aren't you? Good boy. Now this climb seems so much better than when I was at Landegla. I don't know if that is because my legs are stronger now or because I'm on my own and I always go a lot slower than most people on the climbs or maybe just a mixture of the two. Either way, it's okay. A lot of rain, very wet conditions today. I guess you're wanting to know what's going on with all the bikes and stuff, swapping and changing. We have a plan now and I think it's about to be set in stone. Um, so, we've hooked up with a top brand. I'm not going to say what it is right now. You may have seen on the media by now, in which case you'll know. Uh, they have offered Todney and I top of the range e-bike each, um, which have got to stay as they are. Obviously, you know, if you're pushing a bike, they want it to be shown as it's sold and that sports a lot of the brands that we don't use and I was a bit skitzy about that because I want to stay with Olin's and Envy. So they've also allowed us to buy at an incredible price two little trail bikes off them. Uh, so we're going to be having those. This is all uh, mostly next year anyway. So hence why I wanted to see if I'm still fit on a bike. I'm feeling all right actually, I'm feeling pretty good. The Cannondales are going because they were on a media deal, not a sponsorship deal, so I'm going to sell them. I bought them. Um, top stone's remaining for as long as they can let us use it. The Rocky Mountain is staying in the garage uh, as a bike that friends of mine can use and Todd can use until he gets it. I think I might be getting one of the e-bikes before him off the other brand. And then uh, possibly it will be staying for other folks to use on vlogs like mates who don't have an e-bike and uh, Rocky Mountain are also going to supply me with a nice gravel bike for my gravel rides because uh, the other brand doesn't do a gravel bike so there's a few clues in there so that's where we're at let's get back on the trail and tell you how it's feeling to be back on a regular bike back at the top legs feeling all right go on this classic one big log and then back over to the other side for some of the fun stuff oh I meant to pedal on her and try okay let's do that so East Ridge super super sketchy in the wet it's like yeah my first run back then in front of Ian it was a bit of a baptism I'm pretty sure the e-bikes I've got more grip, especially this section here, because, you know, you can drive through this, it's very flat. Oh, check the camera before I get going, if I can. Right, so hopefully, the camera will stay clear. There's so much crap flying about. The rain -X does seem to be working on the wet. I'm going to check my camera. 
yeah big lump but, but uh it doesn't stop the mud i think i have to do quite a lot of stopping i think so there's no point checking how my strava compares today uh, right come on get off the brakes Oh, and I got some brakes coming. I got some pads coming from Trick Stuff. They're red ones. Don't know if he's going to stop the squealing. All right. How are you? Come in. Come here. All right. Met up with some boys here. Mates. Ah, oh, that corner's been fixed. About time. Thank you, we have a good button. Heavy brakes. Oh, that's where I need an e-bike. Right, give them a minute. And then we'll blast it in. Here we go. See how sketchy it feels when you start pushing on a bit. All right, actually. Whoa! What's happened to me? Explosive power. Alright. Down. Give my sec. Certainly feeling better on this stuff. That feels lovely today. Yeah. Ah. Near the top of my third climb up been chatting to various mates another mate of mine just come up on his e-bike and gave me a tow for a couple of hundred yards first time I've ever done that it's quite nice sort of defeats the object of today though so I said see you later fucking hell god I'll follow you oh really <laughs> have a good one see you in a bit boys see you in a bit. Yeah. right I'm behind Juddy Oh my god, a bit of a moment there. He's got the near uh, 141 by the tier there. Quite slippy. <laughs> it's so slick, isn't it? Outside there. Right. So I'm a feeling now. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. I'm not feeling too tired. Oh, he's going. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right, gonna hunt down Josh game. He's on a hard tail. Oh, I've got a puncture. Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Keep cracking on with a puncture. Probably. Oh, All right. Ah. Oh. Punctured halfway down there. I think I did. Yeah, I yeah. Oh, burped her. Heading from a fourth pedal up now. On that one, I, I did put a hole in my rim. In my rim. I did put a hole in my tyre. Uh, I plugged it. But then I stood around chatting to people. I haven't given it a chance to get the fluid into it, so it's gone down a bit. I a bit of air in. Feeling alright, actually, fitness wise. Using the finger pressure gauge. Oh, it's got to be about 20 odd now, maybe. That'll do. And when you put these plugs in, you need to get straight back on the bike and ride in to get the fluid to circulate. Get the orange seal in there, sorting it out. So what I do keep forgetting to do on this, from riding the e-bike so much, is switching it back to climb on the climbs. Get halfway up, <laughs> and then remember. Plans now are going up over to the other side and busting out a load of the trails there and putting a big ride in, which I do actually feel like, I'm quite surprised. But little man there is starting to struggle, which I haven't seen on a regular bike in ages. So I'm gonna head back. One last little techie trail. Come on then. Looking forward to getting those uh, trick stuff brake pads to see if, uh, well, A, if they stop the squealing and B, they are meant to be amazing. They're to go into my Shimano four pots. This is super tacky, this trail. Very difficult, especially with the weight of an e bike. Oh, breath of fresh air doing it on this, to be honest. Especially as it's as slick as it can get right now, without it being like frosty or snowy. Oh yes, very nice. Whoa, my God, that was close. I tapped the brake then when I shouldn't have done. Here we go, lesson learned. So it's been really good this side. I've really enjoyed it. I'm really happy because I feel like I've got my legs back. I'm not, uh, you know, worried about riding under my own steam anymore so tell us what you think about if you ride e-bikes whether you try and get out on regular um, and check the links in the description for any affiliates where you can buy some of the stuff we use cheap and our sponsors like comment subscribe become a member next to the subscribe button if you can Thanks for watching. Keep it pinned.